Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Thursday, February 16th. Amen, amen, amen. So our Bible reading is, he is risen, he is risen indeed. Let's look at verse 18 on. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Not the end of the world, the end of the age. Amen and amen. Good stuff. Amen. Our uh, nation that we're praying for today is Mexico, Mexico. Pray for more laborers for the harvest to join the missions in Mexico. Pray many individuals would come forward who accept the challenge to reach their own communities <clears throat> with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So many are waiting to hear the good news and they just need more workers. Boy, that's worldwide. Jesus said, the fields are white on the harvest, but the laborers are few. Uh, you're not hearing it on, uh, you know, mainstream media, but something is just about to go down in uh, Ukraine and Russia and Belarus, that whole area. Something big is going to happen. They're emptying out all the files out of Ukraine, all the paperwork and stuff so that they're not destroyed. Russia, Putin's going to have a big televised thing in a few days. And uh, something's going on, church family, prayer warriors. We're going to keep that in prayer today, all right? So let's go ahead and pray. <clears throat> it's amazing how you hear nothing about all this stuff on the use. It's all you hear is garbage. I've given up on the use. I, I go to sources that we can trust, amen? Father, we bless you and thank you for this new day. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord, for your insight in your direction, Lord. We thank you that we can praise you on this day, this uh, 16th day, a Thursday already, Lord, as time continues to fly by. I pray, Father, that you would give us the strength to accomplish everything that you want us to accomplish in you. Father, on this day, we lift up what's going on in Europe, Lord. NATO countries are getting ready. They know something is coming. And Lord, it doesn't look good, but our eyes are upon you. You said, set our affection on things above and not on things that is earth. But we think of the people of Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, people that don't really even want to be in a war, but are being forced into a war, just like World War I, World War II, and every other world war where young people have to go in and thousands, thousands literally are dying, Lord. We pray. We bind up this evil regime, Father, and this really this man, Putin, Lord, we pray over this situation. I pray for our own country, Lord. It seems like we are just in la-la land, seeing what's going on, Lord. We just pray, Father, for America. Earth to God, earth to God. We need help. Our eyes are upon you. We say Maranatha. We look forward to the great Hapazzo, the taking away of your church. But till then, as we just read in Matthew, Lord, you said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. <clears throat> we lift up Mexico today as their, our nation to pray for. We pray, Father, for the people of Mexico. So many good people that are just caught up in so much drug cartels and different things like that. It's just sad what we're seeing along our southern border. We just pray. So many are dying for no reason. Evil government, evil governments, Lord, we pray, we pray. We lift up before you government as our Thursday focus, Lord, we pray. For this United States of America, we pray for Biden, Harris, and the executive branch, uh, Schumer and McCarthy and the legislative branch, Roberts and our judicial branch. We pray for Murphy and our governors and Mayors, Lord, we pray for these DAs. We hear about this one DA in, in uh, Chicago that's just letting people out, letting them out, letting them out. And Father, you said that we're to protect the innocent, the, the people that are weaker, Lord, and our government is supposed to be doing that, Lord. 
we pray. We pray for protection over ourselves, Lord, wisdom on how to live in this day, but also to know that the days are short. And you said lawlessness would abound. We never thought it would come right from government, but there it is, Lord. We pray, Father, for our cities, Lord. We pray for strength on the police forces, the first responders, on and on, Lord. Give them the strength that they need, and we thank you, thank you for that. We pray also, Father, for uh, just the church of Jesus Christ, Lord, that we can do all that you would want us to do, Lord. Father, that we'd be a witness and a light, like we've taught on the last two Sundays, Lord, that we can share the gospel, that if each one would reach one, what an impact we can have, Lord. So we pray for the lost, the unchurched, and the unsaved today, Lord. We pray that scales would come off of people's eyes and their hearts would be open. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in, Lord, and we pray for needs of fellow brothers and sisters, Lord. You said pray one for another, and we choose to do that today, Lord. Now, Lord, we praise you because you gave us warning of what we were going to see in the end days. Deception, delusion, um, lawlessness, children against parents, parents against children, uh, going again, uh, 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 with strange flesh, uh, entertainment, love of self more than love of God. Worship the creation more than the creator, earthquakes and natural disasters, signs in the sky above, and I can go on and on, Lord, and we're seeing it all, so we know that we're looking up because we're living in warp speed days because scripture is being fulfilled. So we praise you and honor you. We look forward to that day when we see your face, our Savior, and have the greatest family reunion ever up in the sky as our loved ones greet us. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a day of rejoicing that's going to be, Lord. We love you, sir. We honor you and worship you on this day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Listen, the Bible says people's hearts will fail them for the fear that's going to come upon the earth. Let's not make that us. Stay strong in the word. Feed yourself. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And then fill yourself up with water, water and bread. Amen. Out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water. This he spoke of the Holy Spirit who had not yet been given. Well, he was given in the day in the book of Acts. Hallelujah. So we got that strength. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.